Today we are going to be talking about the symmetry node inside of MASH and it is a pretty interesting node when it comes to creating a symmetrical animation uh, you want to have on the both sides and it gives a pretty interesting look. You can create a lot of kaleidoscope kind of things. So let's quickly get into it. I'm going to start off with a simple plane and uh, let's turn off the grid. Let's have something like maybe two and let's maybe have one. And let's extrude this. I'm just trying to create something random just so we don't have something just very simple to work with. And let's maybe scale this up real quick. And I'm going to select all the edges here and we'll shift right click. Let's connect the component and We'll just scale this down like this. Let's have a little bit of depth. So we'll extrude this and let's select the inside, the outside, shift right click bevel. Let's make this something like this. Okay. Alright, so this looks good. We have a nice star going on as a center of this. Alright, let's go to mesh. Let's click on mesh. And in our mesh, what we can do is uh, let's maybe have a signal node. Um, and let's maybe let's flip this to the 90 degrees let's go back to our signal and we'll try to create something out of this let's maybe reduce the position on this to something like this All right so it's only moving in the y-axis for now and then we'll have some kind of rotation going on for example, something like this. Okay, this looks good. Uh, then we'll reduce the time duration to maybe like 0.5. Okay. And let's maybe have like 0.2. Or let's reduce the noise here and we'll increase the step amount to maybe like 15. Okay. okay, let's also make this 360. We can maybe make it 0.8 or let's make it 0.6. Perfect. Well, we can have more number of clones if you want. It's totally up to us. We'll keep it to 10 for now just so it won't collide. And again, we can transform this from here as well. Alright, uh, once you're done with this, so you have uh, some kind of basic animation going on here. And again, uh, although it's colliding a bit in here, so what we can do is just to give it a bit more extra uh, look to it, we'll have a 90 degree on the Y scale, uh, Y rotation actually. Anyways, from here what we can do is what uh, symmetry does is it will duplicate the same thing what you have going on on the other side. So let's take our symmetry node and here you have the symmetry rectangle square or you can call it a grid and you have the axis going on. So here as you can see we have the x axis all right. and uh, again it will ask you if you want a negative value and so on. So what I'm going to do is quickly let's switch it to z and then you have the whole thing going on on both of the side. Again you can have it on the y axis as well. You can mirror plane, you want it on the positive or the negative side of the bounding box which is this purple thing here. Uh, you can pretty much set it so it looks quite good and again you can control the strength of this, how much uh, mirror you want in here and from here you can start actually uh, creating more from here. So what I'm going to do is let's quickly reduce, let's have more clones maybe like 40. Let's increase this to having maybe like a 15 and we'll also translate this 20. So now you have the spiral animation going on, the stars are moving, something like this. Let's increase our timeline, something like this. Let's maybe slow this down a bit more and now you have something like this. And if you want, we can also make this as 360 as well. Let's make it 20. So we can see a bit clearly. 
so yeah there you go so now you have this nice symmetrical animation going on and uh, if you want you can have more height in here like 20 so just so you can see the whole spiral thing and the great thing to add to this would be a uh, spring animation right if you want if you're planning to stop it and uh, we can reduce the damping stiffness as well to point good um, all right so it's not uh, going very well with our spring i guess because of the whole noise pattern and the whole rotation so i'm gonna get rid of this and in a signal i'm just gonna change the scale to a higher value to be like one and let's maybe go back and have offset mode just so we have some kind of negative scale to work with i'm gonna copy this for all the axes all right this way what we'll have is some transformation going on and There we go. We add a bit more to them. Alright, so this is how you pretty much use your symmetry to create uh, this. Again, you if you want, you can have a negative scale which goes on the negative axis. You can you if you choose to use a rotation or not, it's totally up to you. You can again choose where it should uh, have that formation going on and so on so you can create pretty much anything with this um, if you want to have like the same duplicate animation on any other side so if you take another cube with the same example if we take something like a signal and what I'm going to do is let's quickly have a greater value here let's increase this and uh, maybe on our distributor let's increase the amount of clones uh, i think we did a similar thing uh, on our mash audio uh, video where we pretty much created some sound bars and so on for the audio so you can uh, use that reference as well and let's maybe right uh, anyway, so you have this thing going on here and from here again, you can take a simple symmetrical node and with a symmetrical node, you can choose your axis and then you have this whole bar going on and so on. Why did I rotate? Right, I'm just going to flush the sketch because sometimes uh, it has problem dealing with this so i'm gonna take another node just so it registers again yeah there you go um and uh, let's increase this okay now again with the symmetry what i can do is since i have this uh, whole problem going on what i can do is i can get rid of the symmetry and maybe i just take a simple symmetry again and set it to Y or if we have all the collisions going on let's maybe select the bounding and just move it on the bottom side perfect all right so there you go right, so this works as well so sometimes uh, when you're working with multiple uh, nodes in mesh it tends to do that sometimes it's a bit buggy uh, it won't work and so on so it's, it's perfectly fine uh, so get used to it yeah uh, anyways, so we have this cube. I'm gonna reduce it and have a larger tail value. And let's go to mesh, have a higher amount of distribution, and then let's select this and attach it here. Alright, and what we can also do is we can take a simple offset and uh, what we can do is reduce the scale of this to maybe like a negative 0.6 and from here we can create a very nice follow and we have something like this 
just so we have some kind of taperness going on and if you like more taperness if you want that uh, very thin look what you can do is you can go even lower maybe like 0.9 just have a greater fall off and there you go all right so that way you'll have this whole thing going on trails and everything uh, so yeah, have fun with the symmetry node. You can uh, use it to create whatever you want. It just gets the job done easier this way, uh, and so on. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. And there's kind of, uh, anyways, you can randomize this if you wish to uh, randomize your animation with your symmetrical node, right? And you can also control the strength of it. Uh, the step strength and again the grayscale value to control your overall strength with a map uh, you can use alpha map of some kind if you like a letter or name or something and just plug it in here if you wanna use that so yeah that's what uh, that was pretty much it how you use your symmetry node so have fun enjoy and i'll see you in the next video